In this recording we're just going to look at how you create yourself a splash screen and then move from the splash screen into your main game. Now there's many ways to do this but this is a, a simple way for you to get it up and running uh, and you can improve on it as you go. First up we need some sort of an image that we will import to the screen as our background. When you're building a maze, this would be your title page. You might have instructions here. Uh, you'd have the name of your game uh, and perhaps who actually built the game. Now I'm just going to do this quickly just to give you the idea of how it works. So if uh, I'm creating a, uh, a background in Paint, um, you can do it in Paint. You could use Photoshop. But what I want to do is just put in a text here, which is to show you that this is the splash screen. Normally I'd have the name of my game or something like that. I'll uh, increase the size of this just so that we can see it. Move that up there. Uh, 36 would be fine. We just need to increase the size of that. So that's the splash screen. Alright, now of course you can put images. Uh, you can do whatever you like with this, but I'm just doing this so that we can see uh, how that works in a game. Now I'm going to put this into uh, a file for Game Maker. Uh, this will be Splash. OK. And then I want a new uh, file just so that you can see. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll make a new, f new file. Uh, put some text in again. And this will be um, the main room of the game. Uh, I'll just drop that down there I think and file save same place main.png save that. So now I've got two images one that says uh, main room and the other that says splash screen. Alright I'm finished with paint. I need to create a couple of backgrounds and I've got one here without an image in it uh, yet so I'm going to edit this and to do that I'm going to load the background. I'll need to go to where I saved my background images um, and we've got splash screen. So that's a splash screen background. Just note, um, which I didn't mention earlier, when you're creating an image in Paint make sure that the size is the same size as the room which is 640 pixels by 480. Open that so you can see that that's the background there for the splash screen. Width 640, height 480. And BG splash. OK. Then I want to um, create another background. I can use the icon here on the toolbar. Create a, sorry, not a room create a uh, background, this icon. We want to load it. Uh, this is my main room background. Again 640 by 480. Open. Uh, BG main. OK. So I'll just delete these rooms that I've made by mistake here. Uh, delete. Yes. So at the moment in my game, and I'm using uh, one that I'd started a game that I'd started before. Um, I've just got a Pac-Man in the room uh, who doesn't actually do anything. He's just sitting there in the room. Um, what do I want to do? Well, the first thing I want to do with this, if this is the main room of my game, I want to change the name of the room, and we can do that on the settings tab and this will be room main. Uh, you can see that the width and height of the room by default are 640 by 480 and we can put a captioning. Um, this is the main room and when we play I'll show you where that appears. So then I want to apply my background so I'm going to go to background and this is my main room, so background main. We don't want to tick foreground image, so otherwise it'll finish in front of the sprite. Um, so if we run the game now, just quickly, you can see that I've got my image in the background, which is main room, and you'll see that, that I run over the top of it. 
so it's just in the background not in the foreground and that caption that I put is now up here so this is the main room let's go back to game maker now I want to put a splash screen in so a splash screen is just another room and we will give it uh, a name which will be RM splash because this is our splash room uh, we can say splash screen you would probably put the name of your game in here and what else we got down there uh, nothing there but we want to go to backgrounds and I'll just drag that down there the background is going to be our splash screen and there you can see your splash screen that room is then finished now one of the things about Game Maker is that rooms will be played in the order if you don't do anything uh, to move your play backwards and forwards between rooms by default the first room that is in the game or is listed rather under the rooms will be the room that plays first so I'll just show that main is at the top now we run it and it's the main room that starts now if I just drag the splash screen to the top the splash screen starts the game alright but I've got nothing here yet that is going to make us go to the next room alright so what will I do I just actually need to give myself an object here and it'll be an object without a sprite and we want an event and I'm going to use a key press and I'm going to say any key so change the name of this to obj splash key press any key what are we going to do when um, the any key is pressed look at main one actions and you've got your room actions here previous room we don't want to go to the previous we want to go to the next room so this is from the splash screen we want to go to the next room you can have transition effects you'll see there's a long list uh, of these you can shift in from the right you can create from top bottom and so on uh, I'll just put on a rotate just to make it look a little different and OK alright that is just about everything just one more thing to do and that is on the splash screen itself if we want to respond to the splash object of any key we need to put that object into the room so we've got the object splash selected on our objects tab click in the room no sprite on this but you can see with the blue dot and the red question mark that there is a sprite there and that means that the objects there and will respond to any events that are on it so now if we run the game we've got our splash key first if I hit for example the space bar we move into the main room so just quickly through that again your splash object you can use any key and you go to the next room the only thing to remember is that your room must have the object in it so that it, the event will be responded to that's the quick uh, overview of creating splash screens and the mechanism to move from the splash screen to your main game.